mbunge wenu wa hapa nyali ameungana na Aisha Jumwa Kimani Shungwa ndugu yangu Kemosi baba yetu hapo Ngunjiri na wabunge wengine sitini wa Kenya kusema ya kwamba tunataka kuunganisha taifa letu la Kenya tusikubali siasa itakayotuweka chuki migawanyiko ama kutuletea ukabila ni kwa sababu neno la Mungu linatuambia it is good and it is pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity na pale watu wakishirikiana pamoja neno la Mungu linasema katika mstari wa tatu wa hiyo eh, zaburi 133 God commands a blessing Kinikweli. tukiwa na ushirika na umoja Mungu atatujalia baraka kama wa Kenya kama taifa and that is the reason why tunasema tunataka chama ambayo itaunganisha wa Kenya wote bila ya kuwagawanya katika misingi ya dini ama kabila ama sehemu tunawaomba so that we can build the bridges of unity tukienda mbele umesikia kwamba tunasema safari hii tunataka kubadilisha muundo wa uchumi wa taifa letu ndio tuweze kushughulika kwa wale walio chini tuinue kila mtu hilo pia liko katika biblia ya askofu ukisoma kwa zaburi 113 Psalms 113 verse 7 and 8 neno la Mungu linasema Mungu kumtoa mtu mnyonge mavumbini na Mungu kumfanya fukara na maskini mpaka wakaketi meza moja na wafalme So we want to build a nation that leaves nobody behind. And that is our mission to unite this nation and to build a nation of equal opportunity that gives opportunity to every citizen to be the best they want to be and that leaves nobody behind. Tunataka askofu Muzidi na kuombea taifa letu, muzidi na kutuombea sisi tulio na nafasi ya uongozi ndio tuweze kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu na tuinue taifa letu la Kenya tuweze kutembea pamoja. Those are the two issues I wanted to say eh, tukiwa hapa kanisani. Asanteni sana kwa kutuombea. Tunajua mnatuombea. Uh, and uh, if you are in doubt uh, kama watu wa kanisa hapa kama mlikuwa na taswishi ya kwamba maombi yenu inajibiwa mkiniona nimesimama hapa mimi ni shahidi ya majibu ya maombi yenu so nawakumbusha tu yale wa Galatia sita na mstari wa tisa inasema na msichoke kutenda mema continue to do good kwa sababu mtapata malipo hivi karibuni. So asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa katika kanisa hii. Na nimesema eh, askofu eh, mimi kuja hapa is kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amepanga. So ni makusudi. Haya mambo umesema <laughs> yatatimia. Eh tunamshukuru Mungu. Mungu Mungu atakusaidia. Tukashirikiana tutashirikiana tukienda mbele tutashirikiana kwa sababu mmetuuliza tusaidiane katika e, ujenzi wa kanisa lenu kununua hii ardhi na kujenga kanisa count on us we will walk this journey with you <laughs> we will walk this journey with you 
Sindio, we will walk this journey with you. So, uh, na mimi nataka niseme, mimi siyo nabi. <laughs> Lakini namjua mungu. Na mimi nataka ni wambie, maombi yenu, na matumaini yenu, kuwa na kanisa, mahali hapa, mungu tunaye muamini, he will grant the wishes of your heart. Mungu atafanya hivyo. So, asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa. Tutapanga na huyu mjumbe wenu, huyu shuja na hitu wa Mohamed Ali. Ili kazi hiyo, ata kama siyo, kuna mamba hatuwezi kufanya saizi. Lakini mungu atatupadia muda ambayo tutafanya hiyo kazi. But count on us, we are walking this journey with you until what you have asked in Atimia. So, asanteni sana, lugu wa kristo, mujue tunawapenda sana, na mungu anawapenda zaidi. Asanteni sana. God bless you. Thank you. Mr. Deputy President, hapa tunamudabii wetu na wachungaji wako na wenye kusanya tadaka wako hapa 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 kwa timu yake mwenyezi mungu walisema hivi na uniambie kama ni namna hiyo ukitaka kuwa mkubwa ukue mdogo kuliku wati ili mungu wafanya nini mwaja mufanyi miaka sema miaka kumi miaka saba miaka saba ni kweli aliita nani atafisiri aliita nani Yusufu mutu ambaye ni munabii kama wewe. President West walisema kumi, kumi. Hawezi kutafusiri ya mwati waka watafusiri. Baka munabii wa mungu wafanya nini? Atafusiri. Na kumi ni ya shida, na kumi ni ya furaha. Aya. Niko na mungwana mmoja anaitu wa Kemosi ni mbunge wa kutoka kule nyamira. God is good. And all the time, Your Excellency, I want to thank you for finding time to come and praise God with these Christians. Mimi nukona imani naibu wa rais kuwa hii kazi mzuri ambao unafanya. Wewe ndio kiongozi peke ambaya anachua umuhimu wa kanisa na kila wakati umesadia kanisa zetu. Na mi nataka kusema hivi. The book of Proverbs. 29 verse 2 says when the righteous are in power people rejoice when the wicked are in power people mo mourn sinivo inasema kwa hivo tuko inaimani that his excellence the deputy president of the republic of kenya who is going to be the 50th president of the republic of kenya is the right person to be in power hallelujah Kwa hivyo mweshmiwa naibu wa rais, sisi tuko nyuma yako, mi mwenyewe ni meingia kutoka kwa situezi yangu lea asubui, ni kambiwa weo huko hapa Mombasa, na unajua hapa Mombasa ni nyumbani ya pili, it's my second home, I'm a resident of Diani, ni kasema lazima ni fike kwenye huko, na mimi ili tuweze kumuabudu mungu pamoja. Sante sana na tunakuombea naibu wa rais. Aya, kabla sujamuita kemani, tuko na huyu ndugu wetu, Yeye ndiyo katibu wa chama ya UDA, anaitwa Kariza Nzai. Ni jamaa wenu wa jombu hapa. Aya, mwishimu wa kemani ishungwa, uyu ni mbunga wa kutoka kiambu. Sante mwishimu wa naibu wa rais, Bishop Samuel na wa Kristo Hamjambo. Mimi istakuwa na mengi, Bishop Samuel ni kushukuru. Na ni kuambie kama livo tusomea kwa Biblia wakati huyo wa Nehemiah. San Balad na Tobias walikuwa. Hata Kenya ya leo, San Balad na Tobias bado wako. Lakini sisi tuko na kumuamini mungu na tunajua ukuta tunao ujenga. Wakufufua uchumi wetu utaweza kujengeka na ukamilike kwa imani ya buwana. Kwa hayo mengi, mungu wabariki. Thank you.